if I show you what we want to achieve, it's more or less have a range of simulation models and then observe the quality of the, of the history match. So let me show you some of, uh, I'm going to show you uh, first the experimental design, the cases that, uh, that were wrong with experimental design. And then I'll show you the cases that I uh, run without experimental design. Just, this is just another tool for, for visualizing the simulation results. Um, let me add here uh, from reservoir simulation, norm session. Well, uh, I'm going to show you the simulation cases that I have already run in this case, because obviously we haven't run anything and we won't have time to run and wait on this session. So I have already the simulation cases and I have a, wow, I only have a partial, uh, partial experiments, which is a pity because uh, actually let me show you the, the results then of a lightning hypercube sample. So what we are doing here, it's, uh, um, I'm going to show you uh, actually 50 simulation cases. These are the ranges of oil production rates, gas production rate, that's a field level. Let's go to the well level. And let's actually take the first few cases. And I'm going to take one well at a time. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is uh, my in-house tool, this is uh, a tool. Uh, and in-house, in-house, and well, it's it's uh, it's available commercial. And if you if you want a license, we can we can give you a license for for you to to give it a go. Uh, but let's take few cases, and I'm going to show the uh, historical date, right? So as you can see, uh, not all this. Uh, I'm 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 uh, performing some changes on the simulation model, but uh, I'm not really getting the full range of uncertainty there. Let's see if I, if I turn on all the data, if I get to a full range there. No, this is not getting there. Let's take one model that might be getting up to a, the full range. Hold on a second. And we can see where that case is located. Okay, so here we have an interesting case. We have a water a water production rate. Let's see a water cut. Uh, the water cut is not available there. The water cut is here. So we see the water cut. Take another well. Let's see if we can get another well. That's an interesting one. Some some wells are. This is this is a very nice one. It's a very nice example. Okay. This uh, uh, okay. That's uh, Anki. You are asking that for the rest. I, I don't know. But let's take this well. The E three. E3CH, and what I would like to do is calculate the objective function for this uh, E3CH well. And, and as I mentioned, if I go to the bottom hole pressure, the bottom hole pressure, there is no data associated to the bottom hole pressure. In terms of injection rate, um, if I put here bottom hole pressure here, right. Let's put the same, the same canvas as we have in the other. There are some wells, some injectors here. So this is a water injector. As you can see here, the four F4H. That's another injector, F3H. F2H is another injector. And F1H is another injector. Okay. Now let's, let's take that well and, and we can take as many wells as we want. But for the for the for the purpose of this exercise, I'm going to take the uh, E3 
E3BH, was it E3BH? E3CH into MX, okay? So I want to calculate the objective function for that particular one. Uh, let's let's see here, and I'm going to move faster here because uh, because of uh, because of time. Uh, I'm going to call this uh, objective function. calculation and um, um, let me import quite a few uh, uh, libraries uh, in here I think I have um, just a second I find my way around so there is a, a small library that I have for the objective function. Uh, let me put it in, in there. Uh, I'm going to get uh, to that library in a second. Um, this is my objective function library. And there is also a reader for Eclipse. I'm going to put it in the, in the folder. Okay. And what I'm going to do here, it's uh, import uh, the OF calculation. And I'm going to import the reader. Of course, you can use a reader from, uh, you can use a reader from a uh, rest inside as, as, uh, that's available. So, what I want to do, I'm going to have a bit of a setup here for objective function. And, and we said that uh, we want to pick this well E3CH. And actually, I was actually having a look at the E3H as well, which is, uh, let me see, is this one. That's an interesting one to have a look as well. Let's put both. So that's E3CH. Uh, so I have two producers. I don't have any injector to calculate objective function on. And um, I want to get a couple of vectors, the water cut and the water oil production rate. So the way, the way this is just set up. This is just variables. It's not doing anything. Uh, really, it's not uh, doing anything. It's just uh, uh, setting a dictionary with the wells uh, and the vectors that I want to bring. And I'm just saying here, stating here that I just want to um, um, I want to calculate objective function on those th two wells for these two vectors. Uh, that's all. Okay. Uh, the way I'm going to do it now is uh, 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 let's let me make a list of files. So file uh, file names. I'm going to make a list. Uh, for file in or let me say for i in range and I think I have 50 models in those 50 models uh, what I want to do it's uh, uh, create a file and the file I'm pretty sure it's uh, uh, this uh, file I have a lighting hypercube sampling and I have quite a few cases. I have 50 cases and I want to put all those 50 cases in this list. Okay. And this is uh, I. So if I print this, what I have is a list of all the cases that I want to calculate objective functions on. And uh, just to make things, uh, what I want to do, it's uh, uh, for file in the file names. And if the file exists, uh, let me import OS, just checking if the file exists. Because I can actually do here, uh, let's say I can do 70 
but I know that I don't have 70 files. So if the file exists, exists, yes. If that file exists, I want to uh, calculate with the readers. Uh, the readers actually, what it does, it's the uh, same as uh, um, same as uh, uh, rest inside. I pass a file and it will return the name of uh, the keywords and so on. So if I show you this working on one file, so if I do this and I do only that on the file names and I only do it in file one and I print the, the for instance, the, the list of uh, merge names. But there is no, sorry, like the file one, file zero. So it brings me the name of all the variables that are in the, in the simulation file. And if I do a summary, it also brings me all the simulation results into a data frame. Okay, that's, that's what I'm doing here. I'm bringing all the simulation results and I'm bringing every, every, every result into, a, into data frames. Okay. And then I want to calculate uh, some objective functions. So I have this uh, functionality, let's say the vectors, uh, or let's call it uh, objective functions vectors. I don't like the capitals. It's equal to the OF calculation. And uh, I'm going to bring uh, this functionality just to give me uh, for this uh, dictionary for the wells and the vectors, I want to get those vectors. So that's dictionary for wells, a um, bit of configuration dictionary, uh, dictionary objective function for uh, vectors. Um, I need a tool here. Let's see. So if I, if I run that on the, let's say if I run this on the file, on only that file, that I was having before. Or, or let me let me show you what what we have here for F vectors. So this uh, comes with the uh, list of uh, variables and the list of vectors that I want to read. So I want to read the water cut. Um, for this well, what are the production rate for this well, and so on. Uh, hi, Giko. Yeah, I try to push as, as much as I can. Uh, for the readers, you can always use res inside. Remember that. That's still available. So this is just a, a, a very simple functionality. That's, uh, there is uh, nothing, nothing really fancy there. And in fact, uh, what, what that is doing, it's just, uh, uh, if I can put it there here. Actually, if I if we put it uh, here as a function, functions or useful functions, what this is doing it's uh, it's uh, coming up with a list of uh, of vectors that we want to use. So nothing fancy going on there. Okay. Oops, I, I put it to wrong. Okay, that's fine. We'll wait in a bit. And the next thing that we want to do, so we have a vector that so we want to calculate. We have, we can read the summary file and uh, uh, we want to also, uh, there is a bit of a filter here. I'm not going to go to, 
to any details, but uh, this is only bringing, this is only to bring, and you can you can have the, your, that filter by yourself. That's only to bring uh, these vectors, these OF vectors, and uh, of out of this summary, I just want to bring all those vectors. That's all that this is doing. And uh, then then the, the next thing is that. Uh, I'm going to put everything into a summary. Uh, actually, let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm going to put it in here. So if I apply this to this summary, if I show you the results, um, I'm just bringing just bringing just a data into a summary, just filtering data. That's Nothing fancy there. I'm just filtering um, some of the, uh, the data because I don't want to have the full summary, the full simulation results in a pandas in the memory. I just want to have this in order to calculate the objective function. Okay. And in fact, these summary results, I want to store it in a EF underscore sum. Okay, and uh, and this is where I export, and this is this is uh, where I export the objective function calculation for uh, for every file. So I'm going to export the objective function and uh, for every file for this uh, um, EF sum, and I'm going to amalgamate uh, just uh, to show you what this is doing. It's uh, if I if I run this code. I'm not quite sure where that is running. Not quite sure what where that is running. Let me see in a second. So what I want to is to calculate the objective function for uh, all these files and put them all together in one single file. So this amalgamated file, again, it's a, a very simple uh, functionality. Um, let me put it there for your future reference. It takes all the output files. So this takes all the output files in a given working directory and uh, it, it aggregates all the files. So in this case, I want to um, aggregate the, the, the files uh, in this particular place. And actually, the folder is a current folder. Okay, I see where they, this is located. So if I go to my folder, uh, norm lighting hypercube sampling, there we go, there we go. We have uh, the objective function calculation for every well. So this is a, a root mean square error for water cut and well oil production rate. And this is a absolute uh, mean error, which is basically uh, having a look at, at uh, at this, uh, at this curve, and for every simulation case, I'm calculating the difference of the observed data minus the uh, simulated data. And this is a summary of uh, uh, every file, and, uh, and I believe there should be uh, one more with, uh, there should be a file with all the um, concatenated 
Oh, amalgamated files is not defined. Amalgamate all files. Okay, let's see again. Mm, for a strange reason, I don't see that. Okay. Name of my remain files is not defined. Let me run this again. It's running, it's calculating the objective function. Yeah, for a strange reason, it's not allowing me to, to run it in there. Um, so I'm going to call it again from the library OF. And in fact, if the files are generated, I should be able to amalgamate all this in one row. Okay, that's fine. Something funny is going on. Okay, here we go, uh, that's four hours ago. I think this one will work, but uh, not quite sure why it's not there. But here you have the amalgamated file with all the cases and the objective function for uh, this well. Not quite sure where it's storing the the file i'm not quite sure where is storing the file but uh, i think we can work with the with the other one uh, meanwhile so we have uh, an objective function calculation for for every one of those files and uh, if i'm not wrong it's it's uh, exported in this working folder oh here it is here it is i don't know what what was going on. Yeah, here it is. So I have water cut for each well and water production for each well. And at the bottom I have the, uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty much objective function for, for each uh, each well. Um, so, so up to this point, I have uh, generated a lighting hypercube sampling. Um, I have run the simulation uh, K 